Hi, welcome to uh, Excel Video 48. Today we're going to spend some more time on conditional formatting and I'm going to show you the data bars area of conditional formatting. So what I have here is I have new patients by location with six different locations and the numbers are random numbers so they're going to move on me it, like, like they would if you had it in a dashboard. And what I want to know is quickly tell me which locations are doing well and which aren't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take July across the six locations, go to conditional formatting, go to data bars, and the easiest way to do it is just pick a color and click OK. And what data bars is doing is it's saying, hey, 412 is my highest location, so it's going to shade most of 412 in location B. 204 is the lowest, so it's going to shade the least amount in location A. And it's very easy to go through and um, data bars and pick different colors. And let's do that one yellow, and we'll make this one green. Now that we've made it green, let's go behind the scenes a little bit and just show you briefly what it's doing in case you want to customize this. If you go to Conditional Formatting and Manage Rules, it says, oh, the cells you've highlighted are right here, E4 to E9. You have a data bar going. You've only got one rule going. You can do multiple conditional formatting rules. We'll get to that in a future video. But let's edit this rule. And it says, what's the format style data bar? If you only wanted to show the bar only and not that 6, let's put it over here. Maybe you can see it better. Not the, the 620. If you just wanted to see the bar, we could apply that. And now you're only seeing the bar. For me, it helps to see the data. So we can do that. And then the other thing you can do is you can customize and say, rather than have Excel choose the lowest and highest value, you can format based on a number or a percent, some kind of formula, percentile, and it will. you can customize there. The other thing you can do, let me get out for just a second. If you choose uh, data bars, you only get these six colors. But if we go back and manage rules, first thing I'm going to do is put the colors back. And if you want different colors, there's a whole bunch of colors. There's some standard colors. And if we go down to the more colors at the very bottom, there's all kinds of colors. You can do all kinds of things to customize the way that data bar works. So I'm going to apply that. And there is an easy way to quickly see where are my big numbers or my, my small numbers across a range of data and format them with some cell shading in the background. Hope you found that helpful. Next time we'll go to color scales. Thanks for watching.